Hello, gang. Welcome to Crafts Away. Uh, this evening, I'm going to be showing you show the 180 Express. I've also showed 240 across. So this is kind of in between. So it's a 220 Express. Um, if I get started, I want to wish you and your family a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, make sure you guys stay safe. Enjoy your Thanksgiving dinners, but stay safe. Okay, so anyway, we're going to be doing a, what I call a 220 Express. I'm putting this out because it's Thanksgiving. I know a lot of you are going to uh, the casinos besides do, you know doing a family thing. But I know a lot of you are going out to casinos. I have friends going to Vegas. So I thought I'd put out this video. Um, they might enjoy it or you might enjoy playing it this weekend when you're up in uh, Vegas or at your local casinos. So anyway, um, I'll get started right away. We'll see you right back at the table. Okay, here we are back at the table. So as you can see what I have out here, like I always tell you guys, I always start off with my Aloha Special, which is my base. And this is the Aloha Special right here, 130, which is the base. And I started the 180 with that Express, and now I'm doing the 220 Express, always with my base, okay? So we're gonna show you some presses, also playing a short game, and then going down to staying alive. Hopefully the dice is working with us. We don't know what's going on. But the main thing, like I say in my videos, I just want you to see how to set it up, see the presses, see the depresses. Okay, so basically we're going to add the 6 and 8, $30 each more, and make it $220. So five hands I'm going to play with. Each one has $220. Going to be rolling random. So anyway, I'll show you the press, the deep press, the staying alive side of this. I think it works great. Um, of course, any strategy works good if the dice is rolling your way. But anyway, I'll show you what I mean when I think this works great. So let's do this. Hopefully the table's good to us. Okay, coming out. Off on the come outs. Five, four, nine. We're looking for two hits to press and one more hit to start staying alive. Five, four, nine, right back. Okay, so we have options here, right? We win 50 for one. Uh, I'm just going to make change from here. I don't right now have a dollar. So I'll make change from here. Give a dollar. We'll take four dollars back. So we're just going to press this up. Uh, if I had more money, but because I'm trying to stick to hand by hand, I might have pressed up the six and eight to 90 already because these come a little bit more often so i probably would have pressed that up first and leave the four out there the four and ten just in case the four and ten would come eight and that's what i mean about the six and eights might come more often than you know five nines fours and tens and just as I say that, here comes the 4 and 10. But if we did press up the 6 and 8, we still would have the 4 and 10 out there. And then we would have collected that. Two hard 10s in a row. Six to eight. So if we did have that pressed up, we would have been collecting 105 already. But that pays 70. And I owe nickel back here to this hand. 
so now we're pressing up to 90. So that was our two hits with the press. Now we're going to look for one more so we can start our Staying Alive Depress. Heart 8. One four five. Okay, so that's a hundred and five. So at this point, we're gonna play staying alive. So we're gonna depress this. You can go all the way down to one ten. You can go to seventy six, sixty six, whatever the table minimums allow you to. You can do that if you want. I'd like to go to 130. Not only does it, this 130 allows me to make more money faster, but it allows me to go into my staying alive from like I do from my 130 and still make money. 538. And what I mean by this staying alive and still make money is that I'll go to, I'll win the $35. So that's the 35 we win. We give a dollar, that makes 36. We're going to take back 60 bucks. So we just made an extra $60 depressing, staying alive. And taking back money. I'm oh, sorry, got this too much. I think I took too much. Uh, 36. Okay, so coming out again. 9639. Oh, sorry. Clumsy tonight. 325. Okay, so exactly like I said, five pays thirty-five, or thirty-five pays forty-nine. Sorry, and that's our forty-nine dollars. So, as we do in our staying alive with the one thirty, we take back another seventy-nine dollars. So we took the sixty and another seventy-nine. That's almost a hundred and forty dollars we took back. Six. Okay, so at this point we can take twenty-one dollars. I'll take that for now because this is just the icing on the cake, right? This is all extra money. We made our money. This is all extra. Eight again. So we could take another 21, but what we're going to do is we're going to give three and have the house press us up to 30. Going to take some chance on moving up. Twelve. So like I say, if you if you get this a lot special down you can build off of this and it's so simple the adjustments it's not complicated not a lot of movements 538 okay so we press that up that's $35 or we can say we're gonna press it up some more 10 20 30 five dollars we'll take back 11 we'll press up to 42 eight good hit so that's 50 for one and if we wanted to we just go right back down take hundred dollars back or right back down to 18 and this is what I mean about playing staying alive, taking extra money, 
This is our 21 from that $35. Six. So, six, we can get $3 again. Use this as our ATM machine. Press it up, take it down, press it up, take it down, take some money. Eight. See again over here, we win $35. Now we could give a dollar, take this back to 18, take $60 more back. That's what I mean by an ATM machine. But I'm gonna take my take a chance. Press this up. Back to forty-two. Nine winner nine. Okay, get some change. We can take twenty eight dollars. Get some change. Get five dollars. Give two dollars. We're gonna press this up to thirty five. So you see how fast and easy with this one thirty dollar special that you can make adjustments. Even though you went down to seventy six, you brought it right back up. You use the 6 and 8 for an ATM machine. Go down to 18. Press it back up to 30. 42. Go back down to 18. Take some money. Ten. Six, four, ten. Hard four. Five. Maybe because we pressed this five up, we win fifty for one, right? Because we pressed that up earlier. Well, let's just take the fifty for one and say we're gonna take a chance. Let's press this to sixty-six. Instead of pressing the five and nine, we'll press this to sixty-six, which pays us seventy-seven dollars. Ace deuce. Six to eight. Seventy-seven dollars. Sixty-six pay seventy-seven. Uh, let's take a chance. Give seven dollars. And if you give seven dollars with the seventy-seven dollars and the sixty-six, you can press that up to 150 from 66 we can go to 150 so we're just taking a chance pressing I mean you know we could we could take more money already five three eight what a hit Press it up to 150, 150 pays, $175, 175, so what we'll do, we take this, and we'll take this to 60, and make them 65, $66 already. Seven up. Okay, we don't care. We reach a point where you made enough money and you need to start using house money to make more money. Okay, and that's why, you know, when the seven does come, because we're doing that, we're going to lose some money. Right? About $200. 100 Yep. 200 exactly we lost we left on the table but we used that money to make this kind of money 
and that was from playing a short game and of course the dice was in our favor so when that happens then you gotta go with the flow and start to make some money yeah so right here it's five hundred dollars i'm gonna change this in so we get some room on our rack and what is this this is our money too Seventy five, three hundred more. Okay, that's what we made on our first hand. Second hand. And yes, the dice was rolling in our favor, so I took advantage of that. And we need to do that because we're going to have times that the dice is not going to be going in our favor. Okay, our second hand coming out. We're not working. Six. I think I made a mistake with that five, but uh, we did hit the nine, so we would have got paid anyway. But uh, the hand was, you know, good enough that we stayed in the game. Six right back. Five, one, six. Okay, we got 60. We, pay, we got paid 70. Pressing already. See, that's why we want this at 60 now. When we're at 180 or you're at a lower amount of money, if you had 42 or 30, you, you wouldn't get up to, I'm sorry, you wouldn't get up to 90 like this. There's no guarantee we're going to win, but that's the whole idea. We want to press two times, third time, take the money down, play, staying alive. Six. Five. A lot of times I say, you know, when the dice is only giving you three, four hits, sometimes five, you want to press that up right away, get more money. And I do play staying alive with my 130 or anything else if the table is showing me the, the rows are not very long. So I might take two hits if I cannot get three hits. seven out see look we had a great hand the first one this one we only got two hits got to press it up seven on the third so sometimes that continues you want to just do two hits and down already and the table is going to be like that i mean look we made good money on the first hand we was almost there on the second but didn't get there and we lost everything on that hand 220. nice out you 11. seven hope we didn't use up all our good luck in the first roll ace deuce eleven Ooh, all these rolls we can't even get one point seems like the table is turning in the wrong direction for us hopefully it comes back one three four Six hard, sixty pay seventy. Eight. 
Aces, yep. Table's not as good as it was on the very first row. Eight. Okay, in the case of this, where I pressed up like this, I still looking for two hits, right? We got a six and an eight. So because I can still press up, unless I knew the table was bad for sure, I know the second hand, we should have took it down on two, but that's just the first time it showed me that. So I'm still going to take a chance. We win 105 for a $90 bet on the six and eight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quad press this. So this is going to come here. This is going to come here, making it 75 each. The money that I had here, I'm going to take this and press this 6 and 8 to 120. Okay, and that's a quad press that you can do. 10. Of course, you know we got to hit this, right? This is the money maker right here. 8. Okay, so we got that. That was our third hit. So we pressed with the two hits. We took it down on the third hit now. So 120 pays 140. Okay, so that's 140. What do we do now? We go down to our 130 Aloha Special. So now we're depressing, we're playing the short game, we're playing staying alive. We lost the whole hand, the last one, so we got to get back some money. Point is still four. Nope, oh, lucky we played the short game, 5-2-7. Okay, so we, we put out, we gave up $130 here, but had the chance of making more money like we did in the first hand. So what do we have here? Seventy five, four hundred. Okay, so I made four hundred here on this hand, which is actually our third hand. Fourth hand. Okay, I'll set. Dice out. Eight. Let's see if we can get at least two press ups and one takedown. Eight right back. Five, three, eight. That's our first hit. So we win 70. We need two more hits. One, four, five. And that's why I really don't care to make the point because, you know, we would have collected on this five if we didn't make that eight. But it's just another wasted number because we're not working on the come outs. Ten. So we win $27. So we're going to press this up. I know that's a 10, but it didn't make us the most money by hitting that point. But that's why we have the 4 and 10s out there, because we can bring them back in and make $75. 8. Okay, so we eight. That's our third, right? Two hits pressed. Third hit. We're supposed to be taking this down. And 8 pays us 105. 
Do we want to take it down? Do you want to see me take a chance and quad press? Let's quad press. Like I said, I'm just trying to show you how to make money, how the presses go, how the depresses go. So if we lose this hand, we lose this hand. You know, we could have took it down and made some money. We're looking for one more. Eight. All right. Took a chance, made the press. We won. That's 140 because we got it at 120. $140. Now what we're doing, we're going to depress. We're going to go down to 130. And from here, we're going to try and make it staying alive. We depressed. Now we're going to try to play staying alive, taking back possibly another $140. Fight three. Okay, so that pays us 35 We're going to give a dollar to 35 and one dollar makes 36 We're going to take back 60 more. So as we're playing staying alive now, We're starting to try and take back a little bit more money as we're starting to depress and uh, limit our exposure to the table, right? Hard 10. Five four nine. Great. What does the five four nine pay us? Fifty four one. But I can just give a dollar, take fifty dollars for one, and then depress this. But anyway, I'm gonna take forty-nine. Okay, so that's the forty-nine dollars that we just won, and I'm gonna take back another fifty by playing staying alive. So there's seventy-nine dollars, right? If a dollar more would have made 80 and we took 60, so that would have been $140 extra we took back on this hand, playing Staying Alive. Nine. Okay, so nine pays us another $28. $20 nine pays 28 Ten hard, we don't have it. Five two seven. All right, so that's why we played the short game. Then we took our two hits, the third one, take everything down. We started to depress to one thirty. Then from the one thirty, a lot special, we did a staying alive, taking back the six eight. And the five and nine, making some more extra money, leaving seventy-six dollars for us to press back up and make extra money. The seven came. We gave the house minimum seventy-six dollars. That's what we allowed the house to have. Okay, it's thirty minutes already, but I only got one more hand to go. So let's play it out. Seventy five more. Okay. And I'm just keeping the white so we can play with that. So this is five hundred. So we're gonna change it out to blacks. Okay, last hand. And here we go. Box cars.
Yo, we love it. Oh, might not be good on our last hand. Maybe we should have cut the video. Nah, just joking. We're going to work it all the way. We don't lose. One, four, five. Four, six, ten. Dice kissed. Four, six, ten. Twenty-seven dollars. Press up the nine. You can press up whichever one you want. You can take the twenty-seven dollars if you want, and you don't have to press. Twelve. Well, I gotta hope the dice gets better. We only need a few hits, but sometimes this is what happens. And one, six, seven. So that's the end of our fifth hand. So we lost two complete hands. Okay. Put this on the side. So we started off two hand, uh, five hands of uh, $220. We lose this, so we win this. This was our money or not? I don't know. Give it to the house. Give it to the house. So five hands of $220 is what? $1,100. And we lost two complete hands. So what do we have? Five hundred, one thousand, $1,100. Five, six, $700. Seven hundred eleven dollars. That's our profit. So again, thank you for joining me. Um, hopefully, you have a great Thanksgiving dinner with your family. If you're going to the casinos, uh, hopefully, you can use this two twenty express strategy, and the tables will be rolling for you. So until we meet again, please stay safe. Please stay alive. And we'll catch you in the next videos when they start to come out. Again, take care and stay safe.